All right, give us one second. Sorry, friends, I didn't plug that. There we Hello go. Hello and welcome. Hello. It's good to see you. Yes, good to pull be that together. down slightly. Sorry, there we go. Good to see you all. Amen, 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 amen. What can we say? Father, we thank yep. you for your grace, oh, your Lord. glory, your love, your, yes, your, your wonder. And uh, um, you are truly the King of Kings and the Lord of all Lords. We just, yes, we Lord. thank you, Father, for who you yes, are yes, and yes. who you are to us. Yep. Uh, you are so good to your children. Yes. And uh, we just love you. We honor you. We praise you. We give you glory. And uh, um, you are worthy of all our praise and all our honor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well, babe. What can you tell us? Well, I have been loving the series that we have been doing called Triggered, mm. dealing with anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Such a relevant topic, so real, so, um, yeah. You know, yeah, something that everyone's dealing with, you know, to different degrees and different areas. And we've all got triggers. Yeah. And I wanted to share about something that happened just yesterday. So, um, our son, he's, he's very clear at being able to read his feelings mm -hmm. and express them. Um, I'll sometimes say to him, this is very helpful. Some adults would be good if, you know, you, adults could do this. But he can quite quickly identify yeah. something that's maybe caused him to feel down or excited or confused. Um, and then backtrack to that thing and find out what is what is the reason for that. Yeah. And um, so we were just chatting on the car ride yesterday. And what I'd realized was I'd gone through, I'd taken his tea through to him. And then I'd carried on with lunch boxes and da -da, and packing bags, and making sure everything for the uniforms were set out correctly as he put out the day before. And I suddenly realized that the time had run on quite quickly and it was starting to get late. So immediately, I felt kind of like almost like panic or concern in terms of the time, knowing which time we need to be there in order to beat the bell, and went into the room and said to him, you've got to get dressed. And obviously, he picked up in my tone my panic and my rushed yep, yep, hurriedness yep. and um that's what he then ended up feeling. Yeah. So on the car ride, he very, you know, as he's a very good expressor of things, he said to me, you know, when you spoke to me this morning and came through to wake me up, you actually gave me a bit of a fright and it made me feel like I, I was under pressure. And I thought, how? Well, what a lesson from the Lord through yeah. our son. How's that, eh? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Don't hold this against me. <laughs> um, and uh, but but I thought to myself, what a lesson it was that the pressure that I suddenly felt under, I then put him under that kind of pressure. Yeah. And how much do we exist in our spheres of influence and in our domains where we feel a particular thing, whether it's panic, um, concern. Yeah. Yeah. Anger. Yeah. Grumpiness. Yeah. And we then um, elicit that to be, and because and, you know what, friends, we set the tone in our zone. We set the tone in our home. We rule and reign in our domain. We have that authority and that ability. That is how much we carry. We, we are glory carriers. Yeah. Come on. But... There are other things that we can mm. carry that permeate from us and shift the atmosphere for the good and sure. then sometimes for the bad, Very good. which was the example. So I was so grateful and I thanked him. I said, you know, at first I apologize and I understand that I suddenly realized what the time was. I got under panic and stress and then I had that and it was just the tone of my voice. It was literally just what I'd said to him yeah, yeah. That, that shocked him into that. But how much more so are we doing that within our homes? Those short, sharp, curt answers or responses yeah. that we yeah. give that just ruin an atmosphere. You know, maybe someone comes in and they're full of the joys of spring and we just react or just because of our day, we are so grumpy. And, and I, I speak about this mm. relating to the topic that we have just been speaking about. We're, yeah. we're done part two. We've still got part three and part four of triggered dealing with anxiety and 
and anxiety can come out in being full of panic, full of fear, yeah. or just being downright grumpy and angry because that's the way we're trying to process what's going on inside of us. Yeah. And I mean, all we know things happen in our lives and we go into, into in a bad mood or something, you know, something goes on and uh, we all have to deal with that temptation. Mm. We have to deal with the temptation of, of, yeah. of grumpiness or the mm. temptation of um, fearfulness. fearfulness. You know, someone once asked me, actually, do you ever wake up grumpy in the morning? And I said, no, I let her sleep in. And uh, I but, wake up beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so I, I go, um, you know, we all have to deal with that temptation. And that's really what it is. It's yeah. a temptation, you yeah. know. So reign in our domain for mm. sure, you know, rule mm. in our zool. No, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, be a gnome in my home. I'm not so good at that. Set the tone in Set your Set the home. tone in my, in the, as a gnome in my home. And, uh, um, oh my gosh. but we have to, we have to deal with that, temp, with that yeah. temptation yeah. of, of, I remember someone once said, you know, anywhere where I allow frustration and fear to rule, I've wow. not let the gospel in. I've not believed the Ooh. gospel. That Jesus died for me, He gave His life for me, and that I don't have to live in fear. Remember, remember on the boat, what 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 did the what did the disciples were were on the boat? Jesus was sleeping. The storm came, and they tried to wake him up, and they were freaking out. And he said, he woke up, he calmed the storm, and then he told them, essentially, don't be a bunch of boneheads. You know, where is your faith? Mm. Really, our faith is connected to the things we see out there, and God gives us our faith as a tool to deal with the temptation. Of falling into the trap of fear or anxiety or whatever mood tries to pull us, you know. Because if you think about it, someone once said this: God is God is always in a good mood. Amen. Now, you know, theologically, it is hard to explain that, and I don't know if you can. But meaning really, this is that God is never in fear. God is never God is never down because of fear and anxiety. Amen. And we know that he can get sad. We know he can grieve the Holy Spirit. So yeah. when you say, well, God's always in a good mood, what happens when he's grieved? That's why I say you can't explain it theologically. But we understand the concept, the fact that God never gets down because of fear yeah. or, or some kind of uh, um, negative emotion that he's feeling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that brings him mm -hmm. down. And so mm -hmm. he has to bring everybody in the universe or around his throne down with him. Yeah, he, he, he never gets overwhelmed yeah. because he, know that he knows that he's overcome. And so, so he wants to help us live in that same space Absolutely. Yeah. and uh, is it easy no it's not it's actually impossible we only by the power of the holy spirit and the grace of god by the, and the grace of god can jesus. we live in that place mm -hmm. that's why jesus tells us to keep in step with paul keep in step with the spirit because only by the holy spirit's power can we actually stay consistently it's buoyant really and not allow fear because i said we're all going to get tempted mm -hmm. in one way or shape tempted on on, on actually falling into that trap of bitterness and anxiety and fear and moodiness or grumble grumbliness mm -hmm. but the father says son if you go into those worlds you know that ultimately you're going to have to use faith to come out of it so it's well, better not to even go into that place in the first place it's 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 fleshly behavior yeah that's it so you if you sow to the flesh you'll reap destruction yeah, yeah. you sow to the spirit and you'll reap yeah. eternal life and mm -hmm. and the thing is is you think about tantrums and stuff like that or, or just fits of rage those are like blowouts yeah. of the flesh and you almost think that this will help me like lose some steam or just like, but actually it doesn't yeah. it actually just creates destruction um for the, yeah. the recipients yeah. your audience and then for your own self for your mind yeah. it actually does not solve anything you know and and that's why you know we do need to just keep on going to the cross Come on. and putting it there yeah. uh, using the yeah. self-control yeah. God has not given us a spirit of, of fear or timidity, but a spirit of love, love yeah. power, and self-control, yeah. self-discipline, mm. sound mind. Those yeah. are the different translations yeah. of it. Very good. So, so we have to use that. Like we said the other day after you'd preached on the first one, um, where Paul says to Timothy, don't lose your head. And uh, yeah. keep your head in all situations. It's like we've got to keep our head as much as we want to get caught up into the tumultuous moment we just got to hold the line yeah. and just go to the stay cross. in faith yeah uh, paul says just Brilliant. as you receive christ yeah. so continue to walk in him Amen. how did i receive him by grace through faith mm -hmm. i have to continue to walk in him romans 5 2 says uh, uh, it's by faith that we access mm -hmm. the grace in which we now stand Amen. and every day is a faith walk 
every day is a faith fight. Mm -hmm. I've got on my PC app, I close this down, and you see there's a picture of of a boxing a boxing glove and it says fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. Every day, my friends, you gotta fight the good fight of faith. Every Amen. day, Dawn and I will have to go exercise and get some oxygen in our blood and our blood pressure pumping and our heart pumping rather and and uh, um but every day you gotta get up, you gotta don the clothes, you gotta go and you gotta go and exercise and it takes effort and it takes self discipline, but you know, you eventually love it. I believe it. The same comes when it comes to our fight of faith. We yeah. have to make sure we're wearing, discipline. make sure that we are cognizant of the armor that we're wearing because mm. we're Amen. all wearing it. Amen. Make sure we're cognizant of that honor, armor. Make sure we understand who God is and who, who, who we are mm -hmm. and know that we are in a fight for our faith every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Satan is not sleeping. Amen? Yes, amen. And uh, um, we got to just stay buoyant. And also being aware of what we have access to. Yeah. Anyone who's a gym member, yeah, yeah. they've got a, a pass in order yeah. because they have access to that place because yeah. they're a member. Yeah, very we good. have access to the throne of grace, mm. which we can approach with confidence. Come on. And we are never rejected in that place. And there is abounding abundance of grace Amen. and mercy Amen. and peace and glory um, beyond our wildest imagination and Amen. beyond whatever situation we're facing. Amen. So we want to encourage you, friends, keep pressing in, keep pushing into the Amen. Lord. Know that, uh, um, you know, this is, this oh, is, yeah. this life is temporary. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, uh, um, but we, we do all we can to advance his kingdom Amen. and, and stay buoyant. Amen. Sean, I just see you online. I uh, just want to just pray yeah. healing peace yeah. glory over Amen. you I, I do Amen. believe that you're still in hospital at this moment in yeah. time so father we just pray yes. over sean right now Amen. thank, we thank you, Lord. you that his family is yes. covered that yes. your hand is over yes. them your hand of provision mm -hmm. you've already revealed yourself in that area lord mm. god and uh but father we just pray for yes. sean right now yes. for a quick recovery thank that you, you would Jesus. be with him even More now Lord. that your Amen. presence would be thank tangible you, yes. in jesus name yes your yes. healing would be magnificent yes. and marvelous yes. and leave the doctors and Come nurses on. Astounded. I thank you for a yeah, buoyancy yeah, yeah. in that place. Thank I thank you, God. you for the buoyancy mm. that this man carries despite yes, circumstance. Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank, thank you, Lord. Father. Let your hand be upon him in Amen. a powerful way. Thank we bless you, every man and woman, Lord, that's yes. part of this this uh, live feed and even later if they watch it. Yes. And we want to encourage you, my friends, our friends, uh, tonight's live groups. Wednesday night is a couple meeting. So find them, plug in. It'll be very good for you. Amen. And of course, this weekend, part three. Mm -hmm. Triggered triggered dealing with anxiety amen. Uh, um, it is going to be an absolute barn mm. burner mm -hmm. amen Absolutely. otherwise bless you guys Beautiful. great to see you all online we will see you very soon thanks for joining us bless you all